Hello there! In today's video I'm gonna show you how I built this remote controlled camera slider. <laughs> Perhaps counterintuitive, internal threads are the ones inside of a part. External threads are the ones on the outside of a part. Hmm, what's that? And to make matters worse, you can even have both internal... Hmm. No, I don't need another piece of equipment. Is this story true? Does this story seem possible? It's a made-up tale. It never happened. The whole slider is controlled by this generic PS3 controller. Therefore, I needed a Bluetooth interface, so I settled for an ESP32. It's a 32-bit microcontroller with inbuilt Bluetooth. And there is already an existing library for the PlayStation controller, so that's a plus. <laughs> the main components of the slider are three NEMA 17 steppers, three TMC 202008 stepper drivers, a ESP32 microcontroller and three Hall effect sensors for homing which I'm currently not using and probably never will. <laughs> I have planned the slider around my existing 28 TV slot extrusion, which I also use on my camera arm. Pretty much everything else is 3D printed out of PLA, even the gears and the ball bearing for the pan axis. This U-shaped piece of plastic is the tilt axis with an integrated quick change clamp. It uses two flanged metal ball bearings for rotation. The tilt axis is mounted to the base plate and rotates together with the pan axis. The pan tilt combo gets mounted to the slider carriage. The aluminum extrusion sits on two feet with an integrated X center to clamp the GT2 belt. And to avoid any cables getting tangled up, this whole slider is powered by a cordless drill battery I had laying around. thousand years later. Mission failed. We'll go next time. As you have seen in the previous clip, the results were pretty <laughs> shaky, let's say useless, <laughs> not what I expected. <laughs> pretty disappointing, the camera slider was pretty much useless with this kind of footage. At first I had installed this kind of gear on the slide axis and as you have seen the footage were shaky, so I thought okay the Neymar 17 is running too fast, I uh, just need to slow it down to get smooth footage. So I. I printed this gear here for the slide mechanism. It's a 48 tooth gear. Yeah, but this didn't solve the problem. It only made the slider faster and the footage more shakier. So as last resort, I tried another stepper library. It's called Fast Stepper. And just like a miracle, it solved all my problems. To use the slider you have the right joystick to slide, the left joystick for tilting up and down and for panning left to right. It takes about 5 seconds from one side to the other. With the shoulder buttons you can decrease the speed. And on the lowest setting it will move uh, 1.5 meter in 2 hours when you want to shoot time lapses. You can also control the acceleration factor by using R2 and L2. Increase or decrease the acceleration 
so it takes longer to get to target speed. And you can also set keyframes. So let's say I want to shoot this camera here. I move to this position, set a keyframe by square. Uh, move to the other position, press again square. And then I press triangle to let him drive between these two points. You can also decrease the speed. The circle avoids everything. That's basically how this slider functions. One or two things should be <laughs> should be improved, like connecting the whole effect sensors, so you can home it, and the slider would know where he is on the extrusion, and he also would know his boundaries, and he wouldn't bump into the feet. Another improvement that I want to make is to the feet. Currently, they are just flat on the bottom and you can't mount them anywhere. Basically, I want this kind of Aka Swiss ad adapter plate. This plate I want down here so I can mount this feet to the tripod. Maybe also vertically so I can rotate the slider 90 degree so you can achieve some funky looking rotations like this. That's pretty much it. Sorry for rambling on so long. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And the link to the files will be in the description. Now let's watch some actual footage. Thanks for watching.